Following my Axe video, a lot of people commented that they prefer the Axe over the Odyssey for various tones, and I wondered why that might be, because they're both based on the same oscillators, they've both really got the same circuitry in them, uh, except the Odyssey's got a lot more. So what is it the Axe does that the Odyssey can't? So I just thought I'd put them both together, do a really quick video, really quick for me anyway, uh, and see what's going on. And as I say, they're based on the same circuitry, so if we just listen to uh, straight sawtooths, We can hear that almost all practically identical. Then try a square. Slight differences there in the width of that pulse, perhaps. But there's not much in it, is there? Two synths with the same oscillators sounding the same. So what's the big difference? Well, if we play a square on the axe, then on the other seat, we're in the same ballpark. But uh, I demonstrated this on the axe video I made and I put a little bit of ADSR on there. And that gives just a little bit of punch to the start of the tone. And we can do exactly the same on the Odyssey. So A, the SR to the pulse width. But now we start entering territory that the Odyssey can't do. Obviously there's loads of stuff the Odyssey can do that the Axe can't. But this is a great example of the other way around where the Axe can do it and the Odyssey can't. So if we add the Sawtooth, we can't do that on the Odyssey. We can add a sawtooth with oscillator two, but that becomes a different sort of tone. It becomes a fatter, richer tone because you've got two oscillators detuned. This one is absolutely bang on the ax. As the Odyssey, always gonna be a little bit out because you're never gonna get the oscillators tuned identically. So there's one thing. You just get that punchier sound on the ax. We take oscillator two out now and take the sawtooth out back to the same sound but then i like to add some pwm on that as well so so there we're getting that nice little adsr punch followed by some pwm from the lfo which I really like. A nice big fat tone that cuts straight through the mix, but you can't do it on the Odyssey. So there's the ADSR. So to add LFO, you can switch to LFO. But that's not the same, is it? So we'd have to introduce oscillator two. So put that on a square as well. Introduce it and then put some PWM on that. Really nice, big, juicy, fat tone. But it's different to this. And that's the one that'll cut through the mix. It's almost like the ones from the Axe. Work on really big, rich and full mixes because they can cut through an awful lot of tones. Whereas the Odyssey, fills everything up itself. So just different things. And if we look again at adding the sawtooth, well, the Axe can have the sawtooth, the ADSR and the LFO all on the same oscillator. So we get all the harmonics from the sawtooth plus the PWM from the, from the pulse. But if you want that, well, we can't actually do that on this, can we? Because we can't have the PWM and a sawtooth and the ADSR on the pulse width as well. Different sort of tones, but you can't do everything that you can do on the axe on the Odyssey because the axe does have its own little tricks own little secrets 
I mean, there's nothing wrong with that tone, it's just not this one. Do a little bit more of that, as I said in my previous video. It's almost like a sync tone, but with the PWO in there as well. Just not the same. Um, as I say, still a nice sound, but add a little bit more of that ADSR. Yeah, quite cool. There you have it, two arps based on the same circuitry doing slightly different things. That's why you might have both. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please think about subscribing, ring the bell, join me over on Patreon. The channel's funded by YouTube ads and my wonderful patrons. Uh, join me on Patreon, you get access to samples, patches and various other tutorials and bits and bobs, all for the price of an elaborate coffee hair mum. So ditch the caffeine and get some sonic refreshments instead. Also take a look at my Starsky Car YouTube channel. Again, I've got patches, I've got samples, I've got stuff you can buy and there's free stuff as well. But it's really nice if you pick up some of the really cheap bits and bobs for a, for a few dollars because it really does all help to support the channel. So thank you very much for staying to the very end and I will see you next time.